the wonder of deep sea echinoderms. Even though echinoderms vary in a huge variety of sizes and forms, there are a few distinctive characteristics that all 6,500 known species have. This phylum's mature members frequently exhibit five-way radial symmetry, which is most noticeable in the starfish's form. You are familiar with starfish, right? I think we now have your attention. Do you want to know about these wondrous creatures? You're in the right place. In this video, we will talk about the wonder of deep sea echinoderms. Hello and welcome back everyone. Before we start, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's dive in. They also contain ossicles, which are spines in their skeletons, which are comprised of interlocking calcium carbonate plates. This gives them intricate structures, such as the urchin's protective shell or the crinoid's columnar spine rigidity. These skeletons are also the cause of the abundance and excellent preservation of echinoderm fossils, with some of crinoid fossils dating back as much as 500 million years. The bizarre and fascinating organisms of the deep water are holothurians, with their tube feet around the mouth and retractable feeding tentacles. One species, Anipniastes eximia, may ascend from the seafloor and swim for brief periods thanks to its wing-like flange and much more gelatinous body. It may travel great miles in quest for food before shoving sediment into its gaping mouth with a ferocious hunger using its oral tentacles. This improves the benthic ecosystem by cleaning and aerating the sediments and excreting inorganic nitrogen and phosphorus. One of the deepest surviving holothurians may be discovered around 4,900 meters beneath the surface of the ocean. Cleaning up organic matter that sinks from the ocean above is the sea pig, sunken corpses and marine snow showers. They have a reputation for serving as brave guardians for young members of entirely different species. To defend themselves from the numerous predators that prowl the deep sea benthos, baby king crabs cling to their gelatinous guardians. Several sea cucumber species stretch their feathery tentacles into the water to catch passing microbes as they feed on plankton. It then uses a central mouth to lick each of these tentacles individually. Many dig down into the seafloor, generating bioturation, which reorganizes the sediment and promotes the growth of other species. Others engage in intricate symbiotic interactions with other species, such as pearlfish and the emperor shrimp. Another echinoderm species, the starfish, is among the few predators that can overcome the sea cucumber's defenses. They can move around the ocean floor in pursuit of clams and oysters because of the small tube feet that line their underside. Just like holothurians, one species, the crown of thorns, inverts its stomach out of its mouth and wraps itself around a colony to consume living coral. Another factor in the deterioration of reefs is sea urchins, but once more it is an offset in the stability of reef species rather than their presence that is the problem. Brittle stars are thinner, more nimble relatives that resemble starfish. Under typical circumstances, urchins are significant herbivores that are crucial to preserving the equilibrium between coral and algae. Some brittle stars can move more swiftly and even cross open water by bending and twisting their lengthy arms. A distinct class of brittle stars, known as basket stars, may be discovered clinging to the continental shelf down in Antarctica. They climb to the tops of sponges or rocky outcrops to extend their branching arms into the water column. At higher depths of the seafloor, sand dollars and sea cucumbers offer more oxygen. Additionally, they provide a home for parasites including crabs, worms and snails. Numerous animals, like sea otters, eat echinoderms as a regular part of their diet. Seaweed has recently taken over several maritime environments. Every year, some 50,000 tons of sea urchins are caught for food. The flavor is characterized as delicate and melting, resembling a combination of fruit and fish. Some nations in Southeast Asia regard sea cucumbers as a delicacy. They serve as the foundation for stews and soups with gelatin in China. Additionally, echinoderms are employed in both medical and academic research. For instance, there is interest in employing certain sea cucumber toxins in cancer studies because they slow down the development of malignant cells. The mechanisms of fertilization and egg activation, early developmental physiological processes, and the control of differentiation in the early embryo have all been studied using sea urchins. Sea urchin embryonic development is a substantially preserved process. This enables biochemical and molecular analyses of developing embryos. In places where limestone is scarce, farmers use the echinoderms as hard skeletons as a supply of lime. To help plants absorb more nutrients, lime is given to the soil. Each year, about 4,000 tons of animals are utilized for this. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you liked the video. Please click the like button if you did. 
And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.